on public demand we are back with the 2022 Dominar 400 recently we did a review where we showcased the seven updates that the 2022 Dominar 400 gets but you guys were interested in a ride review so here we are finally with the Dominar 400 for the ride review As you all know, I am your host Abhinav Bhatnagar and I am going to request you to press the three favorite buttons, the subscribe, the bell icon and the like button. You can also go ahead and share this video with your family and friends and if you are on Instagram, we are also present over there, the handle will be right over here. Now let's begin with a small walk around followed by a ride review of the 2022 Dominar 400. The 2022 Dominar 400 still looks the same, isn't it? Well, technically not because of the 7 major updates that it has got. And if you haven't watched our video, the link will be right over here. Other than the 7 updates, the mechanicals are still the same. As the Dominar 400 is still powered by a 373cc fuel injected DOHC engine which is liquid cooled and is made with a 6 speed gearbox. It still delivers a maximum power of 40 PS at 8800 RPM and the peak torque is at 35 Nm at 6500 RPM. Well, the engine is same and the tank capacity still sits at 13 litres. The fuel efficiency is also the same. In the front, you still have this masculine LED headlight with LED turn indicators and the tail light is also LED. We still get to see 43mm upside down forks which has 135mm travel and the rear one is a multi-step monoshock with 110mm travel and because of it the ground clearance is still at 157mm with that it still gets 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with a 110 by 70 section tyre in the front and a 150 by 60 section tyre in the rear and both of them are MRF revs and they are radial tyres the braking system is also the same. So you have a 320mm disc brake in the front with biber calipers and a 230mm disc brake in the rear with biber calipers. And both of them are ABS assisted so you get dual channel ABS setup. Definitely this new crash guard and the bash plate saves you a lot when you are touring off roads. The silencer is still the same. Let's just check out how bassy it is. The saddle height is still the same at 800mm. My height is 5.9 for your reference and I can easily get both of my feet on the ground. And if you are above 5.2, you can easily ride this motorcycle. The saddle comfort is also good for the rider as well as the pillion. And the digital speedometer and the secondary meter is still the same. Although you do get a GPS mount and the best thing is the USB charger that you get over here. Which is really helpful for long touring. Now it's time for us to take this motorcycle on the city roads of Pune and see how it performs. And before you go on a ride, don't forget to wear your helmet and follow all road safety rules. Being a tourer, this motorcycle has always taken care of the riders as well as pillion's comfort. The seats are adequately cushioned and wide enough to accompany you on a long ride. The posture is straight with slightly raised set foot pegs and wide raised handlebar, saving you from back and shoulder pain. With this new tall wind visor, the air drag is also reduced, helping in reducing fatigue over long distances. The triple spark 400cc motor is a gem. It strikes the correct balance between power and torque. The motor never feels underpowered and provides good fuel efficiency even when you are cruising at 120 with a pillion. I have always liked this engine and over the time Bajaj has very well trimmed down the vibrations. However, I can hear some vibration noise coming from the GPS mount and the visor area. 
This is not an aggressive motorcycle. The power delivery is very linear and smooth. The passing speed on higher gears is also good. In short, a good motorcycle for long rides. The only concern was with low ground clearance. Well, Bajaj was not able to help it, but they sure have improvised by adding the bash plate with revised leg guards. So no matter what the terrain is, the engine and muffler won't take a direct hit now. The 6-speed unit is also silky smooth, no complaints of false neutrals or harsh shifts. The clutch is also buttery smooth, aiding in easier shifting even when you are banging hard on the lever. Although I still feel that the gear position indicator is in a very wrong place, not at all visible with a helmet on. Brakes on Dominar never disappoint you. The Bibers work flawlessly to assure that this green monster is always under your control. The front offers a very good bite but misses that feedback. Rear one is decent. The ABS also works around the clock to keep the wheels from locking but in doing so might intrude earlier than expected. The suspensions are also balanced to give comfortable ride along with agile handling and high speed stability. The front USDs are on a stiffer side and the rear monoshock is slightly soft to absorb the bumps and keep the ride comfortable. As this is a heavy headed motorcycle, there is some amount of weight that can be felt on the handlebar but the overall stability is good. Maybe in future Bajaj will introduce adjustable suspensions in this flagship motorcycle. This motorcycle rides well, it has definitely gone places and is very well known for its long distance capabilities. And with this touring kit, it's one step closer to what it's known for. But it still misses out on some key features like smartphone connectivity, TFT display and riding modes to complete the touring package. The 2022 Dominar 400 is definitely a touring machine now. I rode the BS6 when it was launched and after that today I was riding this motorcycle and mechanically it still feels the same. It is the same Dominar 400 but all these add-ons really help you in the riding. So that was it from our end. This bike costs 2.17 lakhs ex showroom Delhi. I hope you did like this video. Do give it a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you are never missing out any update from us. Feel free to share this video with your family and friends and we are also present on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The handle will be right over here so you can directly go ahead and follow our pages and get in conversation with us over there. We'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, stay home, stay safe and ride safe. Bye-bye.